Welcome to the Landry Design family of plug-in objects for Vectorworks. In the next few moments, we're going to be taking a look at staging tool set two. The first of the tools we're going to look at is called Stage Deck Two. I've got a rectangular piece chosen here. You can also build round pieces, like down here. Okay, with the rectangular piece selected, you can see that we've got a legs basic structure chosen. We can also have other options like braced or deck only. I'm going to select folding. You can see all that intricate structure being built on the fly. We can change the profile of all that structure uh, from square to round, for example. We can do the same thing with the rail you see. We can change it from square to round. Okay, with this new version, we can put different rail styles on each of the four faces. Like here you can see we've got a tow rail on one side and a straight on the other. And for that straight side, we can add more horizontal bars if we'd like. We can also add more uprights. And that all gets updated on the fly as we go. All of the tools share this 3D options dialog which lets us assign different textures to the different three-dimensional pieces. For example, I'm going to choose top color. Its standard color is black, but if we say custom, we can select any of the textures that are included in the current drawing, or we can select from any of the many textures that are in the stock Vectorworks 2013 texture set. So I'm just going to use this shingle as an example, and we click OK, and you can see that the OIP reflects that. And we'll show you a rendering and a little bit of what that might look like. All of the tools also let you input text in different places in the OIP, like I'm showing you here. That'll let you display that text when you're looking at two-dimensional views. I'm going to select the next tool. This is called Stage Plug 2. Stage Plug will let you insert uh, custom or irregular stage sizes and uh, stage shapes. So here, all of these, sh all these uh, sides on this piece are flat. If we double click it, you'll see that familiar uh, polyline mode bar come up. And I'm going to go into a change vertex mode. We're going to go from corner to bezier. And if I click on one of those corner vertices, you'll see that we now have a round face built into our stage plug. So it lets you create a lot of different shapes as you go. The next tool we're going to look at is called Stage Steps 2. This is what I've got selected over here on the left side of the screen. And right now, its structure is set to self-adjusting. As with some of the other tools, you've got different structures. I'm going to choose solid freestanding just to get something simple. You've got different ways to build the unit. You can also redefine the dimensions as you see here. Okay, You can also show rails like I'm doing here, very similar to stage deck too. Okay, and very similar to the other. We can also add more horizontal bars as we go. Okay, the last of the tools I'm going to show you is called Stage Ramp 2. This lets you insert ramp objects. And you've got a lot of different ways to do that. You can create the ramps based on the ramp length. Or if you're dealing with ADA, you can say, I want to create a ramp based on a certain percentage. So right now that grade is at 40. If we make it 20, we can see we need a really long ramp, and we can see how long the ramp needs to be and how much floor space it would occupy. Okay, So that's a quick look at stage ramp 2. If I go to a 2D view, you can see how some of that text might get displayed. You've got up and down arrows. You've got different uh, uh, text that you can make appear or disappear. Something that's new for this particular version is you can display different units at the same time. For example, if I go here to the text options dialog uh, for this round piece, we can see that we're displaying our primary measurement in drawing units, but our secondary units is always in millimeters. So it gives you a lot of options if you're working internationally. And here's a model of all the tools put together and how you might use them. You can see different textures being used, including some transparent grading. 
This will also show you how you can display the different text so you could illustrate different things for vendors or other people needing to use your drawings. So that's a quick look at staging uh, tool set two. If you need any information or if you have any questions, please visit this URL you see on the screen. I'll look forward to hearing from you soon.